So for those of that you're in the room, do you want to die that are smokers? So why are you smoking? If you know, do you think that the lie, when there's those pictures of people's throats hanging out and shit, saying this is going to kill you, do you think that's a lie? Because human beings don't behave off intellectual information. Raise your hand if you're a smoker. Be honest, get your hands up. Third of the room, that's dropping, that's surprising. Because if you'd have asked that question probably 20 years ago, it'd have probably been 80% of the room. Now, what does it say on a packet of cigarettes? What are the pictures like now on packets of cigarettes? So for those of that you are in the room, do you want to die that are smokers? So why are you smoking? If you know, do you think that the lie, when there's those pictures of people's throats hanging out and shit, saying this is going to kill you, do you think that's a lie? No. It's because at an intellectual level, it doesn't impact us. What impacts us when we own something at an identity level? What creates temporary change is at an emotional level. So, you'll go one or two ways generally with emotion. If you are a smoker and you have a heart attack, for example, or your little daughter says, Dad, please don't smoke, you're going to die and I want you to be grow old enough to see me have kids. Do you think that that will have an impact on our emotions? Yes. Now, might that stop us at least think, fucking hell, yeah. It's a fair point, I'm going to stop. But here's the problem with emotions, the temporary. It's in line with commitment. So... You could be hanging off the edge of a cliff by your fingers and it doesn't matter how much will that you have, at some point are you going to drop off? You are, aren't you? Eventually you're going to drop off, no matter how much will you've got. So at an emotional level, it can create temporary change and you'll go one or two ways. Quite often, um, you'll regress the other way. Now, going back to the smoker, at an emotional level, the little girl saying to her dad, dad, please stop smoking. That could have an impact and make you stop smoking for a temporary, for a, um, a short period of time. But if you were to ask me if I want a cigarette, what do you think I'd say? Because I don't smoke, by the way. What do you think I'd say? No, I don't smoke. Exactly. Because it's part of my identity. I don't need to have a battle of will. I don't need to have a battle of commitment. I own that. That's who I am. I don't smoke. I'm not saying smoking is right or wrong. Personally, it's not for me. But do I do a lot of things that other people would uh, not agree with? <laughs>